Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create and use macros for automation on a Mac MS Word, and here is how. Proceed to the Tools menu, select Macro, click Record Macro, then select your shortcut key from the central keyboard. The shortcut key may already be associated with an application that you don't use, or you can create a new shortcut key. I will utilize the Command key. This shortcut is already assigned to me, but I never use it. I will assign it. Next, I will click OK. After I click OK, you will notice that my cursor has a small scroll next to it, indicating that it will record everything I do from now on until I stop recording. Now, all I am going to do is highlight a word. Then, I will encircle it with a board. To do this, I will go to this icon here. Then, I will go to Outside Borders. Then, I will go up to this icon here and change the color. And finally, I will go ahead and change it to italics. The purpose of doing this is to demonstrate three distinct steps that could take some time. To complete your document, when you are done, click back to Tools, then back to Macro, and select Stop Recording. After you have stopped recording, your cursor will return to the default, leaving you with your modifications. Simply choose another word in your page and hit your shortcut key. In my case, Command N to test it out and see how well the macro functions. Simply go back up to Tools, Descend to Macro, select Macros, and you can see your macro displays here if you determine that the macro is not for you or that the shortcut key is off. Go to this minus button, click it, and then select Yes to erase the macro. After that, simply click Close and you are free to utilize the shortcut key once more to create new activities. And that's it. This is how you create and use macros for automation on a Windows MS Word. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.